Yo, what's going on man? It's Mo Salim here from TripleYourT.com and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Test Freak Testosterone Booster. Before diving in, just three quick points. The first is that I do not have personal experience with Test Freak. Instead, what I've done for this review is look through each one of its ingredients and dug out all the applicable research looking at whether it's actually effective at increasing testosterone levels in men. Second point is that I'm not affiliated with Test Freak, so whether you decide to buy or you decide not to buy does not make a financial difference to me. And the third point is that supplements should only be used for what they're made, i.e. to supplement your diet and lifestyle, all right? Never rely on supplements as the main measure towards getting success because that will lead you nowhere. Always consider diet and lifestyle changes first. And this is especially the case with natural testosterone optimization. And if naturally increasing your testosterone levels is a priority for you at this point, then check out my free quiz below which will analyze your situation and tell you what you need to focus on moving forward. With that being said, let's dive into the review. All right, so the test freak ingredient formula starts off with a ZMA complex. And ZMA is basically a combination of B vitamins, zinc, and magnesium. I definitely like seeing a ZMA complex in testosterone boost because zinc and magnesium have been shown in multiple human trials to have a positive influence on testosterone. That being said, they will only affect your testosterone levels to the extent that you are currently deficient in them. So if your zinc and magnesium levels are already where they need to be because you're getting them through your diet, then topping up your levels even further will not affect your testosterone. That being said, magnesium is actually the second leading micronutrient deficiency in Western developed countries. So the chances are that you are deficient in it. As for zinc, a lot of it is lost through sweat. So if you live in a warm climate or you engage in a lot of uh, sports or you just sweat a lot in general, then supplementing with zinc can be effective. So Test Freak packs in 23% of your daily requirement for magnesium and 200% of your daily requirement for zinc. So yes, starting off with the ZMA complex is definitely a plus point for test free. So next up on the test freak ingredient formula is their proprietary testosterone support complex. I'm not a fan of proprietary blends because basically it's a combination of different ingredients in which uh, they don't tell you the dosage of each ingredient. I always like to know how much of each ingredient I'm actually putting in my body before taking a supplement. But either way, I'll discuss each one of the ingredients combined within this proprietary blend. All right, so the first ingredient comprised within this proprietary testosterone support complex is fenugreek and I've done an entire video on fenugreek and its influence on testosterone which you can check out below but overall just know that the evidence regarding fenugreek's effectiveness at increasing testosterone is inconclusive studies reveal mixed results and depending on which study you look at you can find evidence to support that fenugreek increases testosterone but even then the uh, increase is pretty minor or that there's no change all right so um, fenugreek is definitely not one of my top ingredients to add in a testosterone booster also and I don't know why they did this but test freak packs in two different types of fenugreek at the end of the day they're two different patented forms of the herb so i mean they've done that i don't know why but uh yeah it is the case so i just thought i'd let you know and the second ingredient in this proprietary blend is tribulus terrestris and again i've done an entire video on tribulus and its effects on testosterone which i'll link out to below but overall just know that multiple studies have found that supplementing with tribulus terrestris fails to have an influence on testosterone but the reason it has become such a popular ingredient in testosterone boosters is because it is a libido enhancer and a point to understand is that although increased levels of testosterone increase sex drive increasing your sex drive does not directly translate to increased testosterone levels and this is why I believe that tribulus terrestris continues to sell so well is because men think that uh, just because their sex drive has increased that their testosterone levels as as well but as you will see in the evidence that I've provided in my video below this is most definitely not the case. So overall, this proprietary blend comprised within Test Freak is not proven in scientific research to be very effective at increasing testosterone. All right, so next up in the Test Freak ingredient formula is the proprietary DHT support complex. DHT is a derivative of testosterone, which is actually the most potent anabolic hormone in the human body. And although higher levels of DHT are associated with male pattern baldness, a lot of the benefits that we associate with higher levels of testosterone can 
actually be tied back to DHT levels. And again, this DHT support complex is a proprietary blend and I'll discuss the two ingredients that are comprised within it. All right, so the first ingredient is saw palmetto and uh, it's included within the DHT support complex and originally I thought that this would mean that it's increasing DHT but multiple studies have found that saw palmetto actually decreases DHT. And I find this to be actually quite a surprising ingredient to add in a testosterone booster because basically what saw palmetto does is decrease the conversion of testosterone into DHT. So although this results in higher testosterone levels, it significantly reduces the amount of DHT in your body. And this is definitely something that is not desirable because as I mentioned before, many of the benefits that we associate with higher levels of testosterone are actually tied back to DHT. And the active androgen all over your body, other than in muscle tissue, is actually DHT. So that means in your brain, in your bones, everywhere, except for muscle tissue, DHT is what actually exerts the influence. So yeah, the fact that Test Freak contains saw palmetto, based on my analysis of the research and what I believe, I don't think that it is a good addition to a testosterone booster. And I'll link out to an entire ultimate guide that I wrote on DHT, which you can check out for more on this, but just know that lower DHT is definitely something that you don't want. All right, so next up on this uh, DHT support proprietary blend is stinging nettle. And stinging nettle is another herb that has somehow found its way into many of the best-selling testosterone boosters on the market. But as far as the research is concerned, there's currently no human studies that have found stinging nettle to have a positive influence on testosterone. In the one human study that actually looked at the effects that stinging nettle supplementation has, it was performed in men who had enlarged prostates. And although supplementing with stinging nettle helped reduce the size of their prostates, testosterone levels remained unchanged. There is an animal study in which rats were given stinging nettle injections after which their testosterone levels elevated, but the elevation in testosterone was very minor, all right? So don't expect supplementing with stinging nettle to even have a same or even close to the same effect. So this test freak DHT support complex is definitely a thumbs down based on my analysis of the research. All right, so next up in the test freak ingredient formula is the proprietary estrogen support complex. So the first ingredient in this estrogen support complex is hesperidin. And hesperidin is a compound that uh, naturally occurs in the peels of oranges. And it has been shown in some research to have anti-estrogenic effects, but this research has not been performed in humans and it has been performed in test tubes and mice, all right? You can check out my blog post uh, to dive deeper into these studies, but so far, there's no human studies that have looked at this ingredient and its effects on estrogen in humans. And the second ingredient within the estrogen support complex is resveratrol. And resveratrol is an ingredient that naturally occurs in grapes and red wine you can get it in. It has been shown to improve heart health and overall blood flow. But as for its effects on testosterone, there are some, uh, there is some evidence that supports the fact that it reduces estrogen levels. But that research has only been performed in test tubes, all right? There's currently no human studies that have looked at the effects that resveratrol has on the testosterone levels in men. All right, so that wraps it up for this test freak uh, testosterone booster review. And uh, I've just given you my analysis of the research based on each one of its ingredients. And if you wanna dive deeper into each of the studies and the ingredients, and you can check out the links in the description. But overall, based on my analysis of the research and not on personal experience, I'd say that Test Freak is not a proven testosterone booster, all right? If you wanna go for something to help you increase your testosterone levels, consider diet and lifestyle changes first, which you can check out in my quiz below. And after that, if you wanna help speed up your results, then you can opt for a supplement. And I've also done an ultimate guide to testosterone booster video, which I'll also link out to below. But overall, just keep in mind that your decisions regarding how you eat, move, and sleep will have the most drastic impact on your testosterone. With all that being said, this has been Mo Salim from TripleRT.com. I hope that this video provided you with the information you were looking for and that you can now make an informed decision before purchase.